Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, yet another motivational video and in this particular video, we are going to understand how to stay productive during any kind of crisis. Now, when I talk about crisis, guys, it can be any problems that you are facing in your life. It may be with respect to failures, with respect to your family, business, with respect to your work, or it can be anything. So here I'm going to mention some of the points uh, that will actually help you to be uh, stay motivated and productive during any kind of crisis. Please make sure that you watch this video till the end. So the first point that I really want to specify this particular sentence is that a crisis situation is the time to adapt and not pause, right? This is a very, very important sentence altogether. And I think just by telling you this particular sentence, you should be able to understand it. You know, probably you have been working from past six months very hard and suddenly a new crisis comes. You should not pause at that point of time. You know, sometimes some things, that kind of situation you will be facing in your life. It is a time that you need to adapt, okay, in really to stay productive, okay. Coming to the second point, don't worry about what you can't change, okay. So this is again a very important point, guys. Sometimes the problem that comes, you know, uh, just understand that you can or cannot find out a solution, okay. If you can find out a solution, you definitely solve that particular problem. If you cannot find out a solution, then just try to look for an alternate approach and try to fix that particular thing, guys. Okay, not every problem is in your hand or you can actually change it. Okay, this is the most important point you really need to understand because when a problem actually comes, people tend, tend to spend a lot of time just for thinking, you know. There are two solutions, guys. Either you can fix the problem or you cannot fix the problem, right? So this is the second most important point to stay productive. Third point is that dare to step out of your comfort zone. Okay, you should always try to stay, step out of your comfort zone. You know that guys, the greatest, if I really want to talk, the greatest enemy of success is your comfort zone. Now, how do I explain you that? Suppose you want to do something, but you are already in your comfort zone and you don't want to come out of that. Unless until you don't, out, don't, don't come out of that, you will definitely not be able to try that, right? And what if, if you tried it? and you get some amazing success. You are able to do it. You come to know that, yes, I can do this specific work much more better than any other thing. So this is my third point, dare to step out of your comfort zone. The third thing is, which is the most important thing, don't let your emotions control your behavior. Okay, don't let your emotions control your behavior, guys. This is very, very much important thing. A person who is really emotional, will not be able to work through his life because in his life he will be facing a lot of problems and if he is emotional he'll not be able to overcome that specific problem but it will definitely take time to overcome that particular problem right because whenever a problem happens he'll be thinking what happened what is happening why did it happen with me you know where did it happen who was involved because of whom i am actually facing this particular problem now what can i do about it there's so many questions that usually comes up in our mind and we are unnecessary wasting our time. You just need to skip it, move ahead and think about something else, right? So this is basically the fourth point. Don't let your emotions control your behavior. Fourth, uh, fourth, and this is also an important point, guys. Look for the good in any situation. Now, people say that, okay, this many bad things are actually happening, okay? Just only focusing on the bad, just also think that what is the good thing that has probably happened, you know? There are many people who say that, Krish, I've been preparing for this kind of exams, some of the government exams from past four to five years, but I'm not able to clear it. Okay. And they will get depressed in that. I usually say them that, okay, fine. You're not able to clear it. Now just try to find out the good thing in that. Probably God wants you to do something else, which you are better at. Right. So this is the good that you can find out in any situation, guys. This is my five, fifth point. Um, and uh, remember this five points you really need to always think whenever you are actually facing any crisis, you'll really be able to stay productive, guys. And this was a quick video regarding the motivation that I really wanted to provide you. And I'll be coming up with various videos as such. Uh, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And yes, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one doll. Bye-bye.